Hi, my name is Philip Connaughton. I'm a choreographer, dance artist based in Dublin. Um, I was, uh, I guess, where do I start? I had such a busy year this year. It's probably one of my busiest years so far. And um, it's all like in the space of a week, it all disappeared, you know, project by project. It just went boom, 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 boom and, and, and uh, stopped happening. But that's exactly the same for everyone. I suppose for me, uh, one of the first things that I was dealing with was a sense of loss or a mourning for all of this work. At the same time, that I was I felt slightly bombarded by a what can we do? What's the next solution? Where are we going to go? Plans, ideas. Boom. And I just I just wasn't able to do that. Um, for me, it's more a place where I can sit back and watch and wait. Um, I was supposed to be doing assisted solo as part of Dublin Dance Festival. And uh, I first did that at the Fringe in 2018. And it's about my mom, caring for my mom who is living with dementia. Uh, also during this time, my mom got COVID-19. So I think that put uh, a massive amount of worry and pressure on me and I just couldn't think beyond that and it's she's thankfully she's better um she recovered uh but it's still I'm still not able to see her um I was able to see her one day uh and I had to um you know she's in full-time care now and I had to you know put on the full PPE gear and gloves, apron, disinfect, another pair of gloves, another apron, a mask, a visor. So by the time I actually got to see her, she had no idea who I was. I mean, she wouldn't know who I am at the best of times, but I can kind of get around her by my familiarity. She can become a little bit familiar, you know, there's a process like that. And that was, that's been really hard because it was almost, I was there with her, but I couldn't touch her, but it was a Zoom. It was like a Zoom, you know, all everything, it was so sterilized and separate. Uh, that um, it's been tough, but you know, I'm so happy that that it's such a relief that she's okay. And um, but time is so precious. I've become aware of uh, how difficult this is for so many people, and you know, uh, students that are need to finish. You know, uh, young dance artists that are you know uh, have their great moments, or students that are finishing their training, or or just uh, all across society. So I'm trying to be kind of as philosophical as I can about it, and allowing myself the space to just wait and not be, not come up with answers and not be super creative. Um, I do feel that uh, I do feel that I want to I want my future uh, in my future. I want there to be a possibility that I can uh, dance in a sweaty nightclub surrounded by people I don't know till 6 a.m. or later. And I want uh, to perform for a house full of people jam packed although it's sometimes difficult with contemporary dance, but that's what I want. And um, I want to be an audience member sitting next to somebody. And sometimes I feel that there's, uh, that there's a pressure for us to come up with other possibilities and other solutions. I, I want the solutions to, uh, to allow me to do that again. And... Uh, Yes, I love theatre. It's what I'm in love with. It's it's why I started to dance. I like that medium. I like live performance. And um, I like the black box of the theatre. And uh, and so I'm, I'm really uh, slow about moving on from that. And I want to... You know what? Uh, I read somewhere that um, during the potato famine... Of course, because of the way agriculture had had developed um, and everyone was just, you know, producing mass amounts of potato and only eating potato, that when they had no potato, they went straight and ran for everything else that wasn't potato. And then suddenly, uh, suddenly the famine was over and ev everything else that wasn't a potato was associated with famine food. And that's why we're obsessed with potatoes in this country. And... I guess thinking about that, I would say that this potato is ready.